Throughout the depths of the internet lies the strangest videos, images, stories, and more. But now, we're going to take a look at some of the most mysterious and puzzling websites out there. Literally, some are just a giant puzzle that people online have been trying to solve, using maps and cracking passwords to get into secured pages. So today, we're going to take a look at 15 of the most mysterious and strange websites. Nine seven three E H T N A M U H nine seven three dot com. Many things have been said about this website as it has been thoroughly discussed across the internet. One rumor states that this was created by a mad mathematician who, after obtaining some web designing software, left this complex and deep maze of a website. First, the name could be interpreted as 973 the human 973 next the homepage seems rather straightforward the word says abracadabra and it shaves off one letter as it goes down creating a pyramid the only thing that's clickable is the text amazing which leads you to these three animations they all lead you to this next page which seems to specialize in the number nine in numerology, the number 9 has various meanings such as judgment, leadership, universal love, faith, karma, and so on. From this point, paths begin to diverge slightly. It's possible to go down a different route than someone else. For example, clicking on this gold feathered circle leads you to a page called The Evocation. Evocation is the act of summoning a spirit, demon, or god to presumably interact with. It's believed that this website is filled with hundreds, maybe thousands of different unique pages, all dealing with their own topic like alchemy, science, sex, and so on. EKateStation.net there's a nice post on Reddit analyzing and detailing the content in this website, which will be used as the primary source of information. It's designed almost like a puzzle. It contains handwritten notes and password-protected PDF files. The page begins with three triangles, one blue, one brown, and one orange. Let's start with the blue triangle. Clicking on it reveals a page with another blue triangle, a large black square, and a small green circle. Hovering over these images uncovers more to look at, but clicking on the green circle will download a zip file called pix.zip. According to Reddit, the zip file contains another encrypted zip file that requires the password slux, which is skulls backwards. It contains a lot of photos of scenery. Now the brown triangle. It hosts nine buttons, labeled one to nine, as well as nine symbols surrounding a black circle. Each button will take you to a password-protected PDF file. All passwords will be in the description below. Every PDF file appears to be a journal with handwritten letters and a lot of pages. As for the triangle, not much is really known about the page it leads to, as it seems like the most complicated one. It appears to be a map of some sort. Hitting the map button will download another zip file. Hitting either of the two dots will lead you to an even stranger page with more clues. Nothing online provides further detail about what this could possibly result in, and it remains a mystery. QU13E.com What is QU13E? It's a long-running ARG existing for as long as 2001. It was first discovered by Unfiction member Dragcar. The website features what at first seems like one big puzzle. However, clicking on each image reveals another, also a quote on the bottom. The website also mentions someone known as Random Martin. Some of the quotes are credited to him in his diary entry. The pictures change every time the home page is reloaded making the investigation much more difficult. Still, 
The website remains quite a mystery. It supposedly is updated every few years with hidden text, cryptic pictures, and even some hidden links. i-m.mx forward slash don't tell me forward slash I'm sorry forward slash My antivirus actually blocked this website, so I had to disable it to give it a look. Take that as a warning. The first page says, why do you hurt me, which appears on every page which will always lead you back to where you started. Clicking on the underlined bolded help leads you to this page with a lot of N's and O's. There's one small underlined O right there, which at first leads you to nothing, but clicking it just right will take you to a new page, one that Google Chrome would not let me access. This is because the site will attempt to download a text file called please.txt. Scrolling down will reveal a large stop text, which clicking on directs you to a picture of a crow. Clicking on it opens a new tab on Wikipedia's page for decomposition while clicking on the second U leads you to a new page with even more links and downloads. I'm unsure how deep the rabbit hole goes, and there's not a lot of information online, so for now, I'll leave it on here. Tanison.org Tanison is a form of art where everyone is referred to as Tanison. Tanison can also refer to an emotion or feeling, even a state of being. It started on 2chan back in 2004, however some sources and posts dated back to the Aztecs and Sumerians. There is also a large array of meanings assigned to the word, everything from the pure definition of surrealism to creation and destruction, truth and the dark clouds, although none of these meanings have been proven or set in stone. Some say that the word Tanison can even affect the causality of living things. Further evidence of this was a 1982 experiment that found that continually playing the word Tanison at a fixed frequency and interval was fatal to mice. But this remains an unsubstantiated rumor. When you go onto the Tanison website, you will receive a file titled Tanison. Translating what it says was difficult, however, it seems to repeat the word Tanison in the phrase don't think, don't feel, you will be Tanison at a fixed rate, frequency, and intervals. One story brought forward about the origin of Tanis is this. English explorer Scott Norman and American Psychiatric Association Authority Roger Batkinson were deeply involved in Tanison research. Scott was the one who discovered Tanison at ancient Aztec ruins and continued researching it for a long time. However, one day he suddenly disappeared. The sentence, I got it, was spelled out over and over again, spanning 73 pages in the diary he kept before his disappearance. Roger, who was engaged in research in the psychoactive elements of Tanison, left tapes with the words, there was a truth we should not have touched, and then shot himself in the head with a pistol. The website itself seems to have some sort of code behind it, and no doubt the audio files and images presented across the various links on the web page are involved in some way. Sentimentalcorp.org this website was created by a man named Randy Prozac, who seems to be heavily involved with the Illuminati and conspiracy theories. It begins with a picture of a couple sitting on a couch watching TV that says, Nothing. 
above are five links, each clickable and each having their own content to share. Going from left to right, the first one contains files that are both a hypnotic induction and subliminals and that are mentally and psychologically toxic. Next is a page called Systems Death Recordings. It contains songs by Randy Prozac as well as some of his poetry. The third, headlined as Parasite Dreams, contains eight treatments and all of them display a video with some of the creepiest animation and dialogue you'll see here. And we went on the Lincoln Memorial Oral Sex Tour like I told you we were gonna. I'm sick and tired of taking care of your baby while you're off on your business cruises. F you that secretary slut. I'm the man. You're the woman. You the fourth one comes with a small warning at the bottom of the screen. Urging anyone with dissociative identity disorder or multiple personality disorder to leave the page. It's known as the Shrine of Goat Worship and contains three altars, each containing eight more videos. Finally, Fetal Programming is the last page. It talks about visual mind control and even offers a psychological audio cassette. Listening to this will expose mind control technology that may cause permanent destruction of cognitive personality, according to the website. OCT282011.com This website is more than likely referring to the date, October 28th, 2011, but no one knows why. Nothing big or important seemed to happen on that day. The site showed two cats, one dead and one alive, many believing as a reference to Schrodinger's cat, a famous paradox. Typing in OCT282011.com forward slash the safe would allow you to input a four digit code. Entering the right code would apparently lead you to different messages, videos, and a set of instructions. Interestingly, there is a phone number associated with the website. For safety reasons, I'm unsure if I can show the number, but here's what happens when you call. As of April 26, 2015, the website has been taken down. Not even online archives like the Wayback Machine can view its contents anymore. Ninety Nine Rooms com. Hello there. You are now entering Ninety Nine Rooms. This point-and-click game has been online since sometime around 2004, according to jsgame.com. The objective is to make it all the way through the 99 rooms and reach the very end. All the rooms are incredibly unsettling and require some interaction in order to get to the next one. Players have described the imagery as being creepy, but strangely beautiful and compelling. While traveling through the 99 rooms, you're bound to find one that will scare you, but for the most part, Enjoy the nice visuals. Magnificence.org Some of the only sources of information regarding this website comes from 4chan's X paranormal message board and a forum on coh2.org. What we do know is that there is someone or something on the website known as essence. 
It's debatable on whether or not this essence is an AI. Some say it is, and some say it isn't. There are theories that claim this website is involved with the CIA, or that they're a group of guys going after online pedophiles. Some believe that Essence will only respond to those intelligent enough or deemed worthy. Others have tried contacting Essence through different chat sites online. Finally, there is a strange feature called the Magnificence Identifier on top of the chat box. It seems to require a password for access to be granted. Nobodyhere.com forward slash just me forward slash me dot here. Maybe one of the most strangest websites on this list, Nobody Here features a man on his computer with a long, long line of words that can be scrolled down and clicked on. Each word will take the user to a new page with even more clickable options. According to its Facebook page, it first started in 1998, and that's it. I mean, the community seems rather friendly, but I can't help but get a strange feeling about it. Dive in and take a look for yourself. Screenvader.com forward slash root dot html this was another odd website that had various amounts of possible hidden secrets behind the actual meaning of what's shown on the page. While some of the links on the face of it just looks like weird little flash games, some of them actually have these strange artistic repeating sequences. For example, there's a video labeled as easy to open. When you open it up, it plays two clips at the same time overlaid atop of one another. Each of these randomized clips are sequences that have a label of 1 to 30. While at first they seem random and new, eventually you might be able to tell that there's some sort of pattern of how these clips are played over one another. The website has all kinds of weird and creepy imagery. Besides that, there's not much more to say about it, other than whatever meaning this site has, it's lost on me. ShayStJohn.net Shea St. John is a fictional character created by artist Eric Fronier. Her backstory is that she was once a model who got into a train accident, causing her to lose her arms and legs. She chose to use mannequin parts to replace her lost limbs, as well as using several masks to cover up her identity. Shea St. John has a YouTube channel with various uploads. It hasn't been updated for nine months. However, she also has her own website. The website is crudely made with the various GIFs and links, all leading to different pages. It also has bizarre music, sometimes completely random and disturbing, and other times, it's uncomfortably loud. The website will also attempt to download several videos into your computer on multiple occasions. There is a lot to look at when going through this. Just be wary of what you're getting yourself into. Subculture.com Do not go on this website without some form of pop-up blocker. Clicking on the wrong link will spam the hell out of your computer and make it difficult to close out of each page because everything will be jumping around from side to side and you just can't exit. At least one of them will. I don't have much faith in the others. Finding information about this website is extremely difficult. There is seemingly nothing about it. The first initial pop-up that appears will display images of 9-11, pornography, seizure-inducing flashes of black and white, and so much more. It's been described as the internet on crack. Superbad.com Superbad.com has to be one of the strangest websites to grace the internet. 
At first, it's just a bunch of links that seem to lead to random pages that have more links that take you to even more random pages. However, if you study the pages, read the contents on them, and start piecing together what the links mean, eventually you'll start uncovering a story that seems to link everything together. It's hard to tell what this story is, even after hours of just sifting through this page, but I think I have a general idea of what this page has to offer. There is an overarching story involving Uncle Jay, their aunt, and a character known as the father. It's hard to see what exactly happens, but there's a provocative poem about a little boy who gets naked, covers himself with honey, and happily commits suicide by allowing himself to get stung by a swarm of bees. Magabon.com Magabon is a YouTuber who uploads videos of herself doing almost nothing but staring into her camera with her big, hypnotic eyes. She has over 100,000 subscribers, but hasn't uploaded a video in over a year. Magabon.com, also known as the Magabon Project, is a website that hosts two videos. The first one introduces someone named Frank. The video shows a body lying on the floor as the camera slowly approaches it. A woman staring into the camera will appear on screen a few times, and text can be seen on the bottom left-hand side, some of it in Japanese. Finally, it will show a doll with maggots and bugs crawling out of one of its eyes. The second video also shows Frank in a gas mask. He has a drawing of what looks like him and someone named Maggie, presumably Magabon. It also shows a giant screen displaying Magabon's videos, as well as some more text in Japanese. There was supposedly a third that is no longer on the website. The final link says, sorry, but shows nothing more than some Japanese text a flickering background, and the words, I'm sorry. 